So the tests are performed on a 215, 60, 15 inch rim tire on a winter tire. So it's currently about minus 10 degrees right now. Uh, with the wind factor, I would say probably minus 12, 13. So these two compressors here are currently under test in the same conditions, same weather conditions, um, same temperature. And I try to give you know, the same deflated tire. Uh, it's completely deflated and I use this to, to check and there's like barely air coming out. So it's a very fair test. Okay, so for this test, um, I complete deflate um, the tire in order to start from zero. And we're gonna speed test to see which pump actually really um, pu pumps the most. Both are rated at CFM 100 PSI, which is a cubic um, cubic feet meter. So we're gonna see which one is better in the actual world, because according to the specs, both are as good. Okay, so I completely uh, deflated my tire, and we're going to start with the buyer. Let's see how fast it can, you know, pump. All right, so we're gonna start in, just gonna find the button. Okay, it's here, right here. So we're gonna start soon, as soon as I press. Okay, so, I'm trying to film this at the same time. One, three, four, go. <laughs> Are so good that's one minute and the tire as you can see it's already pretty quickly gaining a psi according to the gauge we're at almost a 25 psi as you can see it's almost a 30 you know. you ready Let's stop the timer okay so three minutes and 16 seconds it's gonna leak a little tiny bit for sure all right let's check it out We're at 32 PSI. Three, two, one, go. As you can notice, it's kind of louder already. All right, so we're almost at 15 seconds. We're gonna start. Okay. The tire doesn't seem ready at all, but we're gonna check with the, the manual gauge right here. To be fair, it's the same exact gauge. We're gonna lose a bit of air, that's for sure. Let's see. Oh shit, so we're barely at 20 PSI. Right now we have three minutes and 16 seconds, so let's round it down a little bit. Three minutes and 15 seconds. It showed 20 PSI. It's bad because we're currently at six, almost six minutes and a, and a half. So we're at 6 minutes 48 seconds. Uh, let's just say 6 minutes and a half. So now you move this. Alright, so we have 34. Not bad. Vi Air 72 70p. Um, we're just gonna, and this one is the Moto Master. This one used to be 80 bucks, but it's currently the kind of lower the price to 69.99. I think they realized how uh, bad this were, I don't know. What I like about this one, Moto Master, is it has a LED light, which is kind of uh, useful in the dark. Uh, as you can see, the plastic is like ABS plastic, much higher quality. And as for this one, you know, it's like cheap, plasticky. Both are ABS, sorry. But this one isn't like shiny, and this one is very shiny. Probably a similar design, but this one has a bigger one. I don't know. Uh, the construction body, this one is kind of aluminum, metal, and this one, it's plast plastic as again. And as you can see, this one, I kind of broke the f one of the four feet, because it's all in plastic, completely plastic. And as for this one, Vire, which is cheaper, surprisingly, it has, this is plastic, but here, the feet are in metal right here. This is a metal construction. The whole body is made of metal as well. Uh, oh, so the, the feet is metal. The only plastic, the plastic part is the cover.
for here, right here, to the handle. And another thing which is really nice on the wire, which I just really like, it, it has much longer um, 12 volt cigarette lighter cable. Not only that, and it, the wire, as you can see, it's much thicker. On the wire, it, it has an integrated fuse. So before blowing your car's cigarette lighter fuse, it's gonna blow this fuse first. So this one does not come with any fuse at all. Um, not only that, the, the wire seems kind of, you know, the connector for the, for the pump, I mean, for the air, the cord for the air, is kind of is braided on the um, Moto Master, and it's clamped, especially clamped with a special clamp right here. And they, or eventually one day, it's gonna get loose, and this is how how it is. But it's like shrink wrapped, and it's very very nice construction right here. Not only that, but it's much longer cord for this pump, the wire versus the Moto Master, and this one here is like kind of gold construction very nicely built and once again it's shrink wrapped again right here from here this one this end here and this end here both gauges are about three two to three psi off this one is right here you can hear the click okay both are very similar this one is easier to press and this one is I have it's a slightly harder and the wire came with a bag. So in conclusion, um, the wire, which is cheaper, is 60 bucks shipped in Canada. So in the States, probably even cheaper because in Canada, everything's more expensive on Amazon. In conclusion, I would buy the wire uh, and it's absolutely great for what you're doing. Um, I don't use it much, either this one, but I uh, just wanted to test the quality for the price you're paying. I really want you guys to not get ripped off, so that's why I'm making this video right here. Uh, I really want you guys to get the best tool, best bang for the buck. And this is here, the Vire 70p. And if you're, you know, more, you want some something more performant, they have the 95p, but that's not necessary if you're not always pumping. And so yeah. Thank you very much for watching and uh, sorry again for the shake of my camera because I'm using my phone today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that hit like button if you like the video. And if you're looking for the viral, don't forget to click the link below down here. Have a great day guys.